Are you looking for a surge protector or looking to upgrade your current surge protector? Well, I'm going to share with you what we bought in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. So let's dive right into this week's topic of surge protectors. Now, we had been using a basic surge protector, one that was around $120, and the way it worked was you'd plug it in and it had some indicator lights that would let you know if the power was safe where you were plugging in. But that was pretty much all it did, and you would constantly have to go back out to the pedestal to monitor to see if anything had changed during your stay. If you've been following our channel, you know we just recently did a huge electrical upgrade. We installed that 55 amp converter into our our trailer and then we added those two 100 amp hour uh, lithium batteries from Battleborn and just really felt like we needed to up our game when it came to the electrical system and surge protection in particular. So what I did was I reached out to our friends down at Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas and talked to Cody, the parts manager, to see what he suggested. Now what they sell in their shop is this Hughes Auto Farmers Power Watchdog. He has them in both 30 amp and 50 amp, so depending on what size electrical system your trailer has, you can pick out the one that's right for you. Now, these are going to run you closer to $250, a little less some places, a little more other places. But with this particular system, what I really like is it has this EPO, or emergency power off. What that means is if any time while you're plugged in, if this senses there's an issue, it's going to kill the power to your trailer until it's safe to turn it back on. And I love that because that way I don't have to worry if something changes during our stay that something could happen to the electrical system on our trailer. Another nice feature with this is it is Bluetooth capable, which means you download their app and then you can constantly monitor what's going on with your electrical system right from your smartphone. And it will actually send you alerts if there is a problem, and I really like that. Now this does work both with an app from the app uh, the Apple Store or from Google Play, so regardless of which type of phone you have, it's going to work for you. So let's go ahead and open this up and see exactly what we got for our money. Oh, I like that. Always a good sign when the packaging is like this. Notice they've got some Velcro that just kind of holds it. So you can actually save this box if you want to store it in here during your travels or whatever. And as I open it up, the first thing we see is we have a owner's manual and Look at this. It looks fairly simple to read. It's got some bullet points, some codes, and um, yeah, I like that. Easy to use. And then it looks like the other thing is the actual surge protector. So let me go ahead and close our box back up. Now, first glance at this thing is, I'm not sure why they're calling it the watchdog. They had to call this thing the big dog. This is a big unit. It's heavy, and you can just tell by the feel and the weight of it that it is well built. Now look at the ends. Here's where you're gonna plug into the electrical pedestal. I love that it has this built-in handle so as you can actually pull to get it out and not hurt it. And then on the other end where we're gonna plug into our trailer cable, same exact end. That's really nice. It also comes with this locking device so that you can put a padlock or run a cable with a lock through it. And honestly, I'm gonna start doing that because with these devices pushing somewhere between two and $300 a piece, they could become a target for theft. And so let's at least make it a little more difficult for somebody. Not saying they couldn't still steal it, but I like the fact that they've thought about that and built it in. The other nice thing is, Cody let me know that this thing is weather, um, resistant you can have it outside and not have to worry about the rain or snow or anything like that no he doesn't recommend you throwing it into the lake it's not waterproof per se but it is okay to have it outside and you don't have to worry about it now you might be thinking what exactly is the big dog is it just for looks I'm going to show you in a little bit that this is more than just a graphic for looks this is going to be how we know everything is okay they also give you down here a digital display, so if there is a problem, it's gonna give you a code. And what I really like is they put the codes right on the side, so you don't have to get out your owner's manual. You can 
look right on the side and interpret what the code is. But more importantly, you're gonna be able to scan the QR code with your smartphone and with their app, it will actually send you alerts directly to your phone and it'll tell you exactly what's wrong. You don't even have to look up a code doing that. So, all right, let's go ahead and walk over to the electrical box and let's see how this actually works. Okay, I'm here at the electric box for our campsite. And the first thing I'm always gonna do is make sure that the breaker is in the off position. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my surge protector, nice tight fit. And then what I want to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this circuit breaker on. When you hear the pop, that means everything's good to go and it has turned the power on to your trailer. The other thing is the dog, the watchdog's face lights up in white. When it's lit up white, you know we're good to go. If his face goes to red, there's a problem and we need to investigate. Once we have the power to the system and we know it's good, I'm gonna go ahead and flip that back off. Go ahead and grab the plug to my trailer. And then we're gonna go ahead and make that connection nice and solid. And now we're ready to plug our trailer in. And this time I'm gonna show you what happens to the dog's face. I'm gonna lower the camera and here we go. Good to go, we now have power to our trailer. Now the first time you go to use a surge protector, you're gonna to need to download the free app. And then once you have that app, go ahead and open it up and it's gonna ask you to scan the QR code on the front of your particular unit. And you're gonna find that right down here in the corner. Once you do that, it's going to identify your particular surge protector and it's gonna ask you to name it. And you can name it anything you want. Ours, I just named TWD, short for Travels with Delaney. But you can name it anything you want and then it'll ask you if you wanna connect. And then once you do that, it is going to connect for you and you're gonna end up seeing a screen similar to this. Now exactly what is that screen telling you? Well, number one, it's gonna let you see how much energy you're actually using, watts and kilowatt hours, which is kind of cool um, because maybe you can use this to monitor when you turn things on and off. The other thing is it's gonna show you the voltage and it's going to show you the amps that are coming in. What I really like about this system is it has the auto shut off. And what that means is if the voltage gets too low in the system or the voltage gets too high, this thing is going to shut off the power. Now you might say, well, hey, once I plug in initially, why would anything change? Eh, show up on a uh, uh, Thursday night when the campground's not that busy. By Friday night when it's completely full, it is possible voltages in the park could drop if there is a problem. And so I love the fact that it is constantly monitoring what is going on and it's going to hopefully protect our system. Now, one of the things that Hughes Autoformers likes to mention is the fact that this actually has a replaceable module for the surge protector, which means if this gets hit or it's a surge you can actually request a replacement unit inside and as opposed to buying a brand new unit and i really like that feature as well if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and let me know if you ever use this one till next time everybody we'll see you on down the road good night